football star who's going through the recruiting process with an assist from his parents. And a little unique twist in this one too, Bob. The college recruiting process is an intense activity that in oversimplified terms involves adult coaches bending the ears of high school athletes, selling them on why they ought to come play for a certain school. Now, the coaches usually do most of the talking, the athletes, the listening. In the case of DeMatha's Gerard Mustaf, one of the country's most prized big men, his parents have taken a lot of the fluff out of this process. Every interested coach has had to answer a 10-point questionnaire that asks some tough questions. Questions like percentage of black tenured faculty, percentage of black basketball players who've graduated in the last 10 years, whether course concentration is revenues generated by winning programs find their way to minority businesses. We felt like that uh, the minorities and the athletes uh, have been getting their, their due in terms of participating in the uh, uh, institutions as far as jobs and uh, getting their degrees and preparing these kids for the future. Is any of this maybe a reaction to something that didn't happen when you were playing sports yourself and desirous of it taking place? Well, not maybe from playing sports. Or it, it could come from being aware of our unfairness and our, of society. Or looking at television and you're seeing our, our white coaches, our black players. Look in the booth, you see uh, white men. Uh, I felt like that uh, uh, our youngsters need uh, to have role models need to see men, uh, black men, with neckties and suits on. And I think it's important, very important. As one might expect, the Mustaf family's questionnaire was met with the full gamut of reactions, from some coaches eliminating Gerard from their recruiting list to others who admired the approach and addressed the questions directly. But the reactions weren't limited to just interested coaches. Well, I got a few uh, negative reactions from our, um, some of the people that, that, uh, that know me uh, around the area. But uh, I exp uh, Some of your colleagues, friends, neighbors? Some of my neighbors, but I expect it to happen. Uh, what did they say? Well, they say that letter was the most racist letter that they ever seen. Uh, they felt like it, uh, I was a militant. Uh, they asked me, they knew I was an activist. <laughs> uh, and I said to, to one guy, I said, listen, I said, well, why do you feel that way? I said, maybe if I was a white guy, I did the same thing. You called me a conscientious, a great person. But merely was me doing this. I'm a racist, activist, and all those kind of things. Militant? Activist? Well, it, 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 yeah, that's what they said, but uh, you know, we just sort of, uh, church going, uh, <laughs> easy going family. <laughs> Gerard, when, when your folks were first discussing this idea of, of a questionnaire to the coaches, what was your, your real initial reaction? I thought it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's a way of us giving something back to the community. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe other black athletes or athletes in general can learn from my experience. And, uh, maybe next year and the next year, some more top athletes would um, do the same thing I'm doing. That, um, college would be a lot better and they would make a lot better for other people follow us why not just let him enjoy his high school experience the fact that he is such a talented and highly visible athlete why put what others may view to be uh, an unnecessary and undue political burden on his shoulders well I, I tell you one of the reasons are uh, I try we try our best not to raise a jock we try to raise a complete person Away from basketball, other things in life. If it doesn't make it in basketball, so what? I'm happy. One might think that there's an added bit of pressure on you, a burden on you, because you are a pioneer in this regard. Oh, no, I don't feel any pressure at all. Mm -hmm. And you can still enjoy yourself. Yes, hopefully. The family really stuck to its guns in using the questionnaire to narrow the list of schools to two, the University of Maryland and Howard University. Very unique approach to things. It sure is. Have you ever heard of uh, anybody else doing this? You know, back in the late 60s and early 70s, uh, athletes, black athletes in particular, were talking about that, but not today at all. Gerard says that some of his teammates and their parents now are starting to uh, make use of the same kind of questionnaire. Sounds like a great idea. I, I agree. It's wonderful. I agree. Absolutely. Thanks. All right. That was a wonderful report. Thank you. Good to see you.